Hi everybody, this is Janine, and we are going to do a pick a, a pile, uh, pick a card, and you can choose by yellow, and she, she's yellow, and she's got like purple, blue, <laughs> and the teal with the rainbow, um, the rainbow hair and then we have the teal with yellow and peach hair so if you want pile one pile two or pile three or the yellow unicorn rainbow unicorn uh, peach and yellow unicorn and uh, choose your decision and then if it helps you, you know, take a deep breath and, you know, ask your guides which pile looks good for you or which one seems like it would be a good one for you and um, or go by what uh, your first intuition is. And let's start with pile one. Right. Hope everybody's doing good. It's been one of those weeks, and you know, sorry I haven't done one in a while. I've been trying to get um, everything sorted, and I still got to learn a lot of like editing and stuff like that. My computer's not working, so I need a new computer. So I'm doing what I can, and I got messages to share. So here we go. So we got the first four. Is breakthrough. I hope you see this. Let's see. Breakthrough, Isolation, The Dream, and Master. Wow. Okay. This is pretty, uh, pretty intense. All right. So the first thing I'm hearing here is that you're getting ready to go through a breakthrough here. You're ready to break out of your shell. You're ready to shine your light. You are ready to come through. You've been in isolation maybe last three years, three months, but you've really felt isolated. You've really felt um, uh, really just closed off from everything, and it's really brought you a lot of depression and tears, and just uh, you're just ready to break through. You are coming out of that. You This is the basis of everything. So you're getting ready, and from what I'm hearing, what I'm seeing, you are getting to break, break through from this. You are getting dreams, you're getting messages, and they're telling me that pay attention because I'm feeling like you're actually going to the other side. You're, you're on the celestial side, the angel side. Whatever connects is like I'm just seeing that you're going to the other side in your dream state, and you're actually like learning to be more I'm here ascended master actually so if you are going over to the other side you are training in this lifetime to be an ascended master for when you pass over um, but you are ready to help so many people and I keep hearing like footprints so like I'm feeling like you are um, you wanting to leave your footprint in the world and but you are you're really ascending you're learning you're you're opening your pineal glands opening up i'm hearing and what i'm seeing in my mind's eye and um but you're also getting um i'm hearing past life too like somebody in here who's ever picked this one there you're also uh, dreaming of your past lives um and your past life information or who you were in a past life you're getting a lot of information too um, but yeah, this is pretty remarkable that, you know, you're in your dream state, you are on the other side and you are gaining information and you are on your way to becoming an ascended master. This is what I'm hearing. Um, let's see what the next four are. The world, knight of swords. Yeah, you've really been in your head over this. Okay, so... Wow, wow, okay, wow. You are really ready to break through. This is amazing. You know, I see prosperity coming in. You have the world. You, know, you, you, 
you're ready to break out onto the world and really break through and show people who you are. Like you're ready to shine your light. You're really bending your head over this, like really worried about what's the next step. Um, man, I'm just so relating to all this. <laughs> um, you barely been in your head and really worrying about things. And, you know, it's like you have the sun, you have prosperity coming and you just, everything is, uh, you got the sun card, which is like, for me, it's like the best card you can get. You're getting everything, fulfillments, wishes, your dream life, um, your soul purpose. It's like you are being directed. You're getting messages. You're getting guidance and you are very close to the other side. And you have prosperity coming. You know, they really want you to have faith that you are working on those seeds and you are working on gaining that prosperity. Um, yeah, this is pretty remarkable. You you've really been in your head, but they're saying saying it's let it's time to let go because the sunshine is ready to does come through. You're coming out of all this and you're ready to see the sunshine. You're gonna start seeing um all the seeds like the growth of everything you've been going through you're going to start seeing more sunshine you're going to start seeing more um light to you um everything you've been wishing for basically is going to start happening you're going to start to start you know getting more money and you're going to start doing um i'm hearing you're getting more uh prosperity um and it's more guided with your sole purpose it's like this is what you really dreamed of and like I'm hearing, like you didn't think this is what you really wanted, but this is, this is it. This is, you're going to know and you're going to start getting signs and synchronicities. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm not hearing anything else with this. Okay, so we got some, also some angel therapy um, messages from, directly from the angels for you. hope you can see these good. Okay. Yeah, I think you can. Yeah, okay, good. So you got vegetarian or vegan, release, base chakra, and solar plexus. All right, yes. So I don't know. Okay, so there's a couple of things I'm hearing here. I don't know if you've been contemplating maybe eating more vegetarian, maybe getting off of meat, but they're suggesting like it might be good for you. So and it says here, fresh organic fruits and vegetables give you a boost of high life force energy which elevates your spiritual frequency. So if you have been like wondering how to get to the next level, next, next level um, and you're wondering what's the next step I need to do to get to a higher spiritual um, energy, they're saying to really get off, really start eating more fresh fruits, more fresh vegetables, um, getting off meats, um, getting off processed foods, really uh, watch what you're putting into your body because you are a, an energy vehicle and whatever you put in it you're fueling that so if you're eating basically junk food you're just fueling your body junk food and you're not really going to sustain a spiritual level you're just you're going to get like some information but you're not going to get higher as you would if you were to eat a healthier food um and I'm hearing that whoever does eat meat, you're very sensitive to the meat. You may even feel, um, like if you eat a burger, you might feel depressed the next day or feel really nauseous. Um, these are signs that you pick up the animal's energy. And so there, your body doesn't want it. It's like rejecting it. So you might wake up, you know, one way or the other, it's going to come out. Like it's going to make you feel not good. And yeah, yeah, I've been through that myself. And then they're also saying to release. So the next one says release. Work with Archangel Michael to let go of what no longer serves you or your purpose. So it, they're really saying it's time to let go of the past. It's time to, it's time to fly. It's time to you know let everything go. You know, ask Archangel Michael to help you because there are things you need to let go that's not serving your purpose and whatever's not serving your purpose at this point needs to be released. And then next you got the base chakra. Choose only positive thoughts to describe your home, career, and finances as your words, as your words determine your outcome. So the base chakra is your uh, root chakra and they're really saying to work with red and then you got solar plexus as well. So you really want to work with the root and the solar plexus because those are going to give you more guidance and more direction on the next step you need to do. 
um, because once you get yourself rooted and well let me redo the solar plexus is it is safe for you to be powerful and take charge of your life in positive ways oh I'm sorry solar plexus that's your stomach um, I kept thinking uh, sacral uh, yeah, so the base, you know, you want to choose the positive thoughts. And this is where your root chakra is where you feel stability. Um, you ever feel, everything feels stable in your home, career, finances. And this is, comes from your root. So when you have a balanced root, you're going to have a balanced, you know, uh, flow of income, career. Everything's going to start feeling more balanced. And your solar plexus, is, it's time for you to know that you are powerful. It's time for you to realize and start to take charge of your life in more positive ways you know helping people guiding them um, being an influence I don't know if you're a healer or I'm hearing um, some people are um, motivators with words um, whatever your gift is it's time for you to start realizing that you are safe you are very powerful and it's time for you to take, start taking charge of your life this is time for you to direct your life and where you want to go and who do you want to be? And let's see, we got some angel. Uh, probably, I can't remember what the deck is, but it's uh, angel messages. So these are from directly from the angels for you. And you got Adriana. I am leading you toward the answer to your prayers. Please listen. Please listen to and follow the steps. I'm communicating through your intuition thoughts and dreams so yeah like I said up in here you're getting um, messages from your dreams and they are communicating to you and to let you know that they are leading you in the right steps they're leading you in the next step that you need to go you just see the angels here she's guiding you she's here she, they hear your prayers so Adriana if you want to look her up she might be one of your personal angels. Maybe you've heard this name maybe it's a personal name to you or it means something to you but this angel is letting you know that she's leading you towards your answer to your prayers and to please listen, open up to it. And they're, you know, you're already getting intuition on this one. So that's one angel message for you. Another angel message is from Vanessa. To make your decision, ask yourself, which way brings me closer to my divine purpose? Which way takes me away from it? So basically I'm hearing here is that basically go within, ask yourself what feels right. If it feels right, you'll feel, you know, for me, I feel it in my gut. I feel it in my stomach. If it makes me feel nervous, then for me, I'm not going to do it. It makes me feel, you know, it's like, it feels like wrong. It's like a not the right direction. If it feels like it's a flow and ease and it makes you feel happy, that would be the right direction. Whatever, what I'm hearing is the least resistance that's the way you want to go because you're going with the flow. You're going with your heart. Stay out of your head over it. The next one is Oceana. Take action. You're in touch with your truth in this situation and you need to trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself. So, and this one I'm hearing you really need to start taking action in the steps of your uh, your sole purpose, your career, um, and some people maybe have a situation that you're looking at and you're not quite sure what to do, um, but they're really asking you to go within, ask your, you know, meditate on that. But in this one, in this case, I'm hearing take action. You're in touch with your truth in the situation. You already know the answer within yourself of which way or what you're supposed to be doing. So they're just really saying to trust yourself because, and you know, really lovingly, you know, push yourself forward, lovingly get yourself out there. You know, um, I use this, uh, five, four, three, two, one technique. I don't know if y'all heard about it, <laughs> but it's uh, basically this woman, she shared about it on, um, oh, I can't remember where I heard it. It was on YouTube and she was talking about how she was stuck in a rut and she started doing five, four, three, two, one. And by one, it was lift off. And she didn't give herself any time to hesitate. Just move and go. And because if you're going to stall, you're going to, you know, if you hesitate, you're not going to do it. You're going to keep procrastinating. You'll put up, oh, maybe one more day. So give yourself from five to one. And then on that one, take off. The next one they're saying is to have patience. Now is the time to learn, study, and gather information. Enjoy being a student. 
because in the future you will synthesize your knowledge into action. So I'm definitely hearing that it's time to take action. And there was something they were saying with this and it kind of went out already. Now's the time to learn, study, and gather information, enjoy being a student. Oh, um, they're saying basically, it's already time to take action. Have patience with the process of how it's going. That basically we're always students. It doesn't matter how much knowledge we have. We're still learning every time. It doesn't matter how many degrees you have. You're still learning every day. There's always we're always still a student. We're always still learning, and we're actually gaining all that, and we're um, synthesizing like we're putting it all together. And by the end, we're becoming, you're becoming a ascended master. But have patience with yourself right now. Be loving towards yourself, you know, and start taking a little bit more action. But you're still gaining more information, you know, and the more practice you do. But be patient with yourself in the process. And let's see, we have two uh, crystal cards. And um, these were two that fell out for pile one. These are crystals you might want to look up or get into. But this one is Ametrine, balancing masculine and feminine energies. Allow your feminine side to creatively inspire you and your masculine side to give you, sorry, I can't read it, to give you, or to give you confidence. So I'm here and definitely get some ametrine. Um, this will help you to balance out your male female side. Your female side is where your intuition, your male side is with action. So it's going to balance out the energy so that you will follow your guidance and to start taking action with confidence. So that's what they're saying that you want to get into is get some ametrine that's really going to help you. And then the next one they're saying is calcite. So again, the solar plexus. Busy times and multitasking. Take charge of your schedule during this busy time and honestly ask, assess your underlying reasons for being busy. So basically work uh, with calcite to balance out your solar plexus. I mean, they're also asking you to really ask yourself, uh, what is the underlying reason why you're being really busy? Is this for, you know, your higher purpose or is it just to stay out of your head, staying kind of busy type of thing? So you, this will help balance out those energies and help you to work more with confidence and move forward and have uh, more loving care for yourself. Um, basically, like confidence, basically, bottom line. So, yeah, I just feel like it, these two are, are the best ones for you. That's really interesting that they all came out with this. Just love how this works out. And the animal card that fell out for pile one is the feather. So and this is thought, alignment, breath, intention. So I'm seeing and I'm hearing, if you're seeing feathers, your angels are talking to you. This is your confirmation. Um, but they're saying um, breathe more, meditate, meditate. Um, get yourself in alignment with your intentions all these things you be careful with your thoughts you know how you get into the alignment through breath and intention and meditation you will start you know guiding you getting more messages but they're saying this is a message from you from their angels that you you be getting messages feathers or you see birds or um anything related to feathers and you know they really want you to start meditating watch your breath uh, just keep hearing watch your breath so really watch your breath, how you meditate, really watch your intentions and your thoughts and what you're putting out into the air, because what you're putting out, you're going to be bringing in. So watch your intentions, watch your thoughts. And that is all I have for pile one. I hope you resonated. I will have everything down below in the description. Uh, if you'd like a personal reading, you can always email me at janinespiritualmedium at gmail.com. Thank you so much for coming by, and I hope you all have a blessed evening. Bye-bye. Hello, pile two. Let me get this mess cleaned up. Hold on. Sorry, sorry. All right. Pile two. You had the little rainbow unicorn. It's so funny. My granddaughter plays with these, so I'm sorry they're a little dirty. <laughs> she loves his unicorns. <clears throat> All right, so pile two. 
these are messages um, I think I forgot to say is in pile one but these are messages for upcoming week um, but I'm hearing also a magical fairy uh, or magical stuff coming in as well so I just that's why I put the fairy out because I just kept they kept telling me like this is magical so we'll see what happens with your pile let's we'll see what you get Let's see first off we got comparison Ooh, adventure, maturity. Oh, wow. Somebody's getting ready to go on a trip. This is amazing. Okay. First off, I'm hearing, don't compare yourself to others. Um, everybody has a different, you know, light about them. Everybody's uh, psychic in their own way. Or, the you know, somebody has a special gift than somebody else does. Everybody has their own way. So they're saying to really... Don't compare yourself to others because there's only one unique you. You know, we're all uh, we're all like uh, snowflakes is what they've told me. They're like, we're all snowflakes. We're all a deep, you know, a different, unique um, shape and design. And you can, it's there's no way you can compare yourself to other people because everybody has their own special abilities. And you're getting ready or you're already on an adventure. Um, I'm hearing a spiritual adventure. You're getting ready to... Going your quest, you're getting ready to go forward. I'm seeing all these rainbows, like you're just going forward and balance. And I'm just seeing so many good things happening. I'm just seeing this is going to be such a great thing for you. I don't know if this is like a, dis a decision you've been making to maybe move to a different direction, and maybe bamboo, maybe um, like Bali or you know something like that over there, uh, Machu Picchu, something like that. Uh, but I'm seeing like maybe traveling or the bamboo and the adventure. I just feel like you're on a great adventure and they're like, just, it, you know, enjoy the ride. You're really grown from this whole situation and you're blossoming into a very mature, beautiful person. You know, you're getting all your chakras balanced. You're starting to feel more balanced. You're starting to feel more beautiful. You're really starting to shine. And they really want you to know that, you know, you've done such a great job and just, you know, um, revel in how you feel or how you're going to feel <laughs> um, but good things are coming and you have traveling um, I'm seeing eight as well so it could be you know maybe um, winning a little money or a trip but I do see a trip coming in and it's kind of funny with the adventure too so I feel like this is all meant to be like this is divine and you're going to a light. You're going to find some information. You're going to find your path. You know, maybe you're going to go on an ayahuasca retreat or something. Um, but I feel like this is going to be like uh, one of those grand, um, like epiphanies. Like it's just going to be amazing for you. And this would really open up a lot of doorways for you. So be open to the um, possibility of this may happening. But you're really growing. You're expanding. Um and I, it's funny, yeah, because I see the adventure and maturity coming together, and they're like you're really learning a lot from your um, your journey you've been on, your spiritual growth you've been on, and you've really been learning a lot, and you've really been integrating everything, and you're you're just really starting to glow. You're like you're ready for that trip. You're ready to move on, and I really feel like if if this person's like, I just feel like something. Um, I just keep seeing like the rainforest area. Maybe this is somebody who wants to go on a, a trip or to get away, or maybe it's a spiritual retreat, but it's something in those areas. And I feel like it's going to be a really good thing for you. Let's see what else we got for you. You're in your head a lot. I don't read reverse, sorry. All right, so yeah, a lot of swords. You're really worrying a lot. You're really stressed out. You're stressed out about your spiritual journey. You feel like you're like, what am I in the right direction? I don't know if this is the right way. I just feel like you're losing sleep and it's actually causing conflict in your heart. Um, you're comparing yourself to others and you think you're not good enough and you think all these other people are better than you. And that's all false. Like that's all in your head. Like this is shit. You're sorry. This is stuff you're just making up in your mind, and you believe it. And that this is the negative talk. It's like your ego's trying to dim you down and tell you, oh, you're not good enough. Look at that person. She does it better than her, you know you. Or you know you're dreaming. You're losing sleep over it, and you're just like just worrying about it all. And they're just like let it go. And then you know you're just. Yeah, you're just losing a lot of sleep. You're worrying about it. You're worried about your your path. Is this the right path? Is this the wrong path? You know, I don't know if I made the right decision. 
And here I'm seeing four of cups. You know, be you have a lot of emotional support. I'm seeing you're getting guidance. I'm hearing you feel the information. And I'm seeing actually you might you might want to meditate on this to be asked to show a sign. Um, and give them a deadline. You know, tell them I want to be seeing. I want to be told in three days what is my path. I need to be shown a direct sign. And maybe I'm a little dense. Maybe you got to be a little clear with me and show me directly and clearly so that I understand if this is my right path. But I'm seeing you're just in your head and you're just dwelling on it and it's perpetuating. And it's just your ego, basically telling you that you know you're not good enough or you know you got to compare yourself to others and. They're like, no, you don't need to do that. We're all unique. We're all like, um, like the snowflake. We're all unique in a different shape and everything, you know. You cannot compare yourself to others. Sorry, I took some water. It's dry. So, and you got some angel messages here. Um, cleanse yourself, I'm hearing too. Um, do a sea salt bath. Get out in the ocean. Release all that negativity, all the thoughts, you know, listen to music, do things that make you happy, but meditate, get out of your head, get in a quiet space, really start, you know, put your hands to your heart. That's what helps me get centered. I put my hands on my heart and helps her remember who I am. And it pulls me away from my head because you're overthinking things. And if you're overthinking, it's disturbing your dreams. You're not going to be able to process and you're like not having faith in your process. So let it all go you don't need to go there just really start meditating and release just release it all so you got oh, funny vacuum away the fear so the angel message says vacuum away your fear call upon archangel michael and raphael to lift fear-based energy from you your surroundings this situation and everyone involved this is a great um technique to do uh i usually i used to do this one in the shower as well and basically um what i would do is imagine a purple i would ask archangel michael to please come forward and i would imagine that there was the uh a purple it is always purple because i always associate with purple with archangel michael but it's a purple vacuum over my head and it's sucking off all the negativity off the top of my head. It's just sucking all that negativity. And I ask Archangel Michael to come forward and just remove all of it like a vacuum. And usually I would feel like this pressure on the top of my head. After I did it a couple of times and you ask him, yeah, I actually felt it. And I actually felt a lot more uplifted. And then you want to ask Archangel Raphael to come forward to help re you know to help you to release all these fear-based negative energies you're feeling that it's just stuck energy that your body's remembered because that's just your safe mechanism and you're coming into new feelings and you don't know how to deal with it and so it kind of makes you feel off balance so it's basically just fear-based energy stuck in your body that don't need to be there it's just leftover residue because it's time to shed all that stuff off and just time to move forward and then you got fairies somebody's a fairy lover you have a strong bond with the fairies and your life purpose involves helping Mother Nature. So it has a lot. Oh, that was the last one. Um, you have a very strong bond with uh, fairies. I, I, you, uh, you love to, like you meditate, you love to be, um, you may even have a fairy garden. And I'm seeing like you get messages or you get little trinkets from you know, fairies or little birds or little things like you, you find gifts, you find things. And they're saying that you really love Mother Nature. And I believe when you meditate, it's like you really feel like you're really connected to Mother Nature. And I see this person like you actually send love out to the world. You send love out through your energy. Um, you're just you just want a lot of healing from Mother Earth. And, you know, as me, I'm very close to Mother Earth. And so I love to send healing, healing energy into Mother Earth and or to everybody, you know, it's like all the animals, you know, I just pray that, you know, I send all white light and love to all the animals out there, especially the ones who are being abused and um, that don't have a good home and they're not being treated right or the ones that are homeless. Um, but yeah, I'm always sending love out and it's a, you're very, very connected like that. And I think you feel when you go in nature, you feel more at peace you feel more balanced um i actually see this person 
uh, you actually like to run around or have like little flowers in your hair or you put flowers in your hair. Like you really, you like a little hippie girl, like to be out there and just nature and romp around out there. But you're very close to them and they actually leave you little gifts. So watch out for those signs. Maybe you like um, coins and things like that too, they said. So the next one is Law of Attraction. Relationships and activities that you once enjoyed are now changing as you become more sensitive and aware of energies. So you're coming into realizing how your thoughts, you know, create the things that you, you create the things in your life. And I'm also hearing because of your uh, spirituality, the things that you've been going through, you know, things have changed. Like you used to have uh, hobbies, I'm hearing, that you used to really enjoy doing that just don't, you're just kind of bored with it now. You're like, yeah, like, I think it's time for something else. So you're becoming also more, uh, yeah, you know, more sensitive to the energies around you. Um, you're emotional or not more emotional, like empath basically is what I'm hearing, but it is tied to the emotional, but you're a very sensitive person. And I feel like your energies or you're a psychic of, um, like empath, uh, a healer, um, you can basically, if you put your hands on somebody and do a healing, you would be able to do a psychic reading on that way. You would be able to know uh, what's not what's wrong with them medically, no, per se. Maybe you could, but maybe somebody out there. But And you and, and this one, whoever picks this one, it's like basically you get information when you put your hands on that person. And um, it's like, it's like I'm seeing you putting your hands on the solar plexus and you're telling the person, oh, you have digestion issues and, you know, this is because you're worrying and blah, blah, blah. Like I just see that you just know how to really give in-depth information that way. And there also you got the God box. With any worries and concerns or desires on a piece of paper, oh, write any worries, concerns, or desires on a piece of paper that you put into a special container called a God box as a way of letting go and allowing the divine to help you. I've actually had one of these. It was given to me by a friend years ago in sobriety. But I used to put all my worries, all my stress, everything into my God box. And I still do it to this day. If there's anything that I need to let go of and I'm worrying about it too much, write it down, put it in the God box. Um, you can make one. You can create one. You can put your favorite pictures or stickers all over it. Be creative. Make it fun. But, you know, start don't worry about things anymore and leave it to, you know, God or leave it to your, your angels, whoever you, whatever you believe in. You want to, you know, leave it to the fairies, you know, do that too. Make a fairy God box. Um, but whatever you can do to put all your thoughts and everything and all those worries, all those stresses, all those fears, write them down, put them in your box and then let it go. Let the universe take care of it. It's out of your hands. You wrote it down. You released it. It's on the universe's time to now take care of it. So this would be a really good technique to really get into to really help you. And let's see what other angel messages we have here. So Archangel Gabriel, you have an important life purpose involving communication and the arts. Please don't allow insecurities to hold you back. I will help you. So Archangel Gabriel is asking you to call him forward because you whatever you have your life purpose is to deal with communication either through clairaudience, um, speaking through clairaudience, channeling, um, and maybe with um, maybe you draw. I'm so I'm seeing somebody drawing. Maybe uh, he's giving you information basically, and then you're drawing from what he describes to you, and you don't realize that you're getting information through Gabriel and that he's describing everything to you. You just think you're coming off with it as a great, you know, intuition or a great, you know, um, a great, uh, whatever you want to call it. I can't think of it. <laughs> um, their guidance that they're showing you. So you got Gabriel. And then the next one you got is Yvonne. You have a special bond with animals. Your pets on earth and in heaven are watched over by angels. So it's interesting is under the fairies because it's all about animals and um, the fairies. Oh, my ears are ringing. Um, you have a very close bond with animals. You're an empath. Um, you could also be um, an animal caregiver. <laughs> um, something to do with healing with animals. You love animals. You're very close with them. Those are like your babies. And you treat them like your babies. And 
um, the ones you have over in heaven that you have lost along the way, you know, they are being watched over by angels and they watch over you as well. Your animals are always watching you and they want you to know that they are with you. So don't ever think that they're not with you. And then you got Desiree. No, conditions aren't favorable right now. Wait or look into other options and ask the angels to help guide and comfort you. So I'm hearing here that whatever, if there's a thing that you've been deciding on, this is your clear answer. No, the conditions are not right. So I would wait and be more clear on that. And But this is a, a message that I don't know what you're worrying about, but whatever it is you're making a decision on, this is... If you resonate, you know, go with your gut. If you resonate, this is your answer. And then you got Archangel Raphael. I am helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer like me. So you are definitely a healer. You are, um, yeah, like this trip that you're going on. It's like I'm feeling like this is really going to guide you uh, more into is I really feel like whatever you're going to be doing is like ayahuasca. It's like it's really going to open you up, but you're a healer. And you have a very, that's what I don't know, with a healer and the fair, uh, yeah, with the, the animals and that's interesting. Yeah. So you have nothing to worry about. You are a healer. You, um, you can attract anything you want. And I'm feeling like whatever this trip is, it's like it's going to really open up your mind. Maybe some kind of healing. Maybe it will heal you. But you. Archangel Raphael is asking you to call on him to help you and because you're a healer like him and whatever you're not believing in or um, if you're having a physical thing or a physical pain, ask on him to call on, you know, call on him to help you because he's there. He wants you to know that he's guiding you. He's helping you along your healing journey and just to have patience with it because you are definitely in the right path. Um, and then we got a couple of crystal cards. These are two crystal cards I fell out that you need to work with. And the first one is Peridot and it's called Life Lessons. You can break free from recurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and blessing they contain. Peridot is a green stone. Uh, looks a lot like, um, uh, citrine, maybe a darker version of citrine, but it's actually really beautiful. Oh, emerald more is what it looks like to me, but it's actually really beautiful stone, but it will teach you um, or help you along with your life lessons, help you to break free of any recurring negative patterns and thoughts, you know, things like that. So start working with Peridot. It would really help you. And Oh, how funny. You've got emerald as well. So the next one is emerald. Uh, ceremonies and celebrations. It's a time of important life passages such as weddings, birthdays, graduations, or anniversaries. So they're really saying to work with Emerald that there is a ceremony coming up and this would really help be a great healing stone for you. Um, it's a lot of green. So Raphael is definitely around you. He's doing a lot of healing work. I'm here like on your physical body, your mental, um, mental, physical, everything like you all three of those the mental physical and um why can't i get the third one mental physical spiritual he's doing a lot of us uh, healing on you right now and they're just really saying um just be gentle with yourself and there's a cere ceremony maybe a wedding you're going to but i'm feeling more this is more of a spiritual uh ceremony and i'm like seeing like sage and i'm just seeing somebody's going on a retreat you're going on a really big trip. This is going to be really important. Um, be, this is like such an incredible thing. So I, whoever has this one, I can't wait to hear what's going to go on for you. And then we got one animal card that came out and you got the crayfish. It says protection, perseverance, vulnerability, regeneration. So we're going through a regen, you're going through a regeneration period, you know, especially going through, um, a spiritual awakening and so you just know that you are protected and you may feel vulnerable but it's like what I'm hearing is that um let me quiet myself down there's just so much information they really want you to know that you're protected you have a lot of guys around you you have a lot of protection like I'm seeing 
as somebody in here is related with Native American, like I just see somebody really protecting you. I'm seeing black onyx. You might even want to get black onyx for protection as well, especially for on your travel. But they're saying do not let yourself feel vulnerable. Um, there's no need to put down those walls, basically is what I'm hearing. Put down the walls. Release the walls. Um, but you are, you, you regenerate your energy. Like, um... When you feel really depleted, you know, start reju rejuvenating your energy. Start doing things that um, lighten up your mind or uh, energize you more healthier, like, you know, hot baths, you know, sea salt baths. Um, do things that energize your body instead of depleting the energy of your body. And negative thoughts will deplete your energy. Watching too much negative stuff on YouTube or movies, uh, the news will also deplete your energy. So be very careful of what you're putting in your body around especially energy because you're very sensitive and if you're an empath you're a healer you've really got to watch your energy and what you put around you okay i think that's all i got for you yep and so if you resonated and you'll give a thumbs up and if you would like a personal reading you can always email me at janine spiritual medium at gmail.com and i hope you all have a blessed night and thank you for coming by bye Hello, pile three. Got the blue unicorn. Was oh, actually peach and uh, yellow. Sorry, sorry, they're a little dirty. My granddaughter plays them. She comes over. I love the unicorns, so I don't want to get into her yet because I love unicorns. Um, so basically, these are messages that uh, for the upcoming week, next couple of days. Um, next, yeah, I'm here like from couple of days to a week so and I'm hearing that these are upcoming things that are coming up for you are also um, I'm hearing magical too like a lot of magical things are gonna start happening so these let's see what they have to say basically <laughs> so we got going with the flow projections change and healing Wow Okay, so definitely hearing, go with the flow, quit um, being in your head and trying to move in a direction you think you got to go. Just go with the flow. Just go with the river and just go with the flow because once you go with the flow, you're going to start seeing more um, progress. So this is the basis of everything is what I'm hearing. Like this is your main thing that you need to watch. Uh, through everything for the next couple of days, maybe for next week, just really go with the flow. Watch what you're projecting out. Watch what you're mirroring out. Watch your thoughts because you're creating your reality. It's like what I'm seeing is um, you're just really in your worrying your head and you're imagining things that are happening and you're um, you're adding more drama that don't need to be there. And they're just like, really watch the mirroring you're putting out because you're going to get back what you put out. So really watch that. There's a big change coming in. You have the balance wheel. You have the yin and yang. So I'm seeing it's like a big change coming in. This is like such a great card. I feel a lot of positivity from this one. There's a lot of uh, spiritual movement for you. I just feel a lot of prosperity is getting ready to come in. Um start meditating more but i feel like a lot of balance is coming in and there's a big change coming forward and you have a big healing um coming in basically uh, what i'm hearing on this one is basically your um is it basically your solar plexus and your crown third eye and throat is what i'm seeing <coughs> you could be yeah actually you're getting a healing through the whole body Everything's being ignited. You're getting a straight healing from, um, I'm here, Raphael. Uh, Raphael's been big tonight. He's a busy boy. Um, but I'm hearing you're getting a lot of healing going on, and there's a lot of integration, but you're getting more balanced. You're getting more, I think the last set had the same thing. So if you resonate with this, you might want to watch this uh, second set too. Um, but I'm hearing... Um, more of a balance, and you're getting a lot of healing, you know, um, mental spiritual and you know physical so it, everything's getting more balanced and you're getting ready for a big change so just go with the flow whatever happens whatever you're going through 
Just remember to go with the flow. Just remember, just flow like you're on a raft and you're going down the river. Just take it where it's going. Just flow. Don't try to resist the current. Don't try going up the current and fighting it because then it's going to make it more stressful on you and you're going to start projecting out all your negativity and you're going to create more of that. So really watch it. Start creating more positivity. You know, uh, what you really want, you know, if it's a career, if it's money, if it's a lottery, whatever it is, you want to think positive that you're already receiving it. Expect it coming in. You have a big healing coming in. And you're already going through it right now. Like, and I'm just hearing it's it's gonna, you're gonna feel so much more better. You're gonna start feeling more lighter. And I'm hearing your heart chakra is gonna be opening up big time. And it's gonna, it's gonna light up. Uh, something I'm hearing, something's gonna happen. It's just gonna light up your heart. And it's just gonna make, it's gonna change everything for you. I feel like these two should have been flipped around, but I'm just gonna go with how they came out. And just know that your heart is being healed. Everything is being healed. Physical, mental, spiritual. You're getting balance. And you have the yin and yang coming. So you got more cards. Oh. Now if it's my dog making that noise. Or if I'm actually hearing something in here. Okay. So we got seven of staffs. Three of staffs. Nine of swords. And they got the moon. It's definitely by the next full moon something good is going to be happening for you is going to really open up for you uh, you're very intuitive you're very psychic you know trust what you're receiving um i really feel like you have really kept yourself isolated and maybe in the next couple of days you might keep yourself a little more isolated and that's okay but you don't need to keep yourself so protected anymore. It's time and time to start breaking free. You know, start seeing there's a path for you. You don't need to have all this protection around you anymore. You're nothing's gonna happen to you. You're so safe, and you're being guided into the next step. Like I see this little raft. You're being guided into the next step you need to go. But you're in your head worrying about so much, and you're just it's like disturbing your sleep. You're not sleeping good. And you're just really disturbed by it. And they're saying that it's really unnecessary. You really don't need to go. It. You're so intuitive. You're already intuitively guided. And you're getting that balance where you're you're listening to your intuition, your female side. And you're taking your male energy and you're taking action. So they're saying you're very intuitive. You're already psychic. By the next full moon, you're going to see more of a result. So they're saying be patient with yourself. Just go with the flow. Remember, this is the basis of everything I'm hearing. Just go with the flow don't fight it don't go against the resistance of it because you're just in your head over too much and you don't need to go there and it's just going to create more stress on you then no need to go there listen and have trust in your intuition and what you're hearing and what you're seeing whatever the into your clairs are whatever your abilities are they're saying trust it because you are more psychic than you realize and let's see what the angels have to say Cancel, clear, delete. Use only positive words and thoughts as they're rapidly manifesting into form. Ask the angels to cancel the effects of past negative thinking. So I used to say this one all the time, and I haven't seen this in years, but it's cancel, clear, delete. Anytime you have a negative thought, you're going to say a negative thought, it's cancel, clear, delete. That cancels all that negative thought that you were ready to put out in the universe. You stopped it. And you're going to start saying something more positive. So say cancel, clear, delete, cancel, clear, delete. So that way you can get the right positive results that you're looking for. The next one is singing and dancing. Express yourself and awaken your psychic senses through the magical power of music and mu movement. So I like to listen to music and I do sometimes like to dance, but in when you dance and you listen to music, for one, when you listen to music, you're getting in a love state, especially if it's good music. Um, if you're, you will open up your psychic abilities, you'll, you will open up your clear audience. And then when you start moving and dancing, you're shaking all that negative energy off your body. So that way you're not holding on to it and you want to release it all because your body's remembering it and remembering old past hurts or, you know, what that person did to me or whatever, you know, it's like whatever it is, dance it away. It release it. It makes you feel good. It's going to make you feel lighter. It's going to make you feel more happier inside. And when you start being in more gratitude, you start getting more in return of what you're looking for. 
Indigo. The person you're inquiring about is an indigo, meaning a highly sensitive natural born leader. So I'm hearing that whoever is picking this deck either, well, two different things. I'm hearing one, you're either an indigo baby and you are ready, you're, you're a natural born leader. You're here to help heal people and show them the way, you know, show them what you've been through and how you can, how they can get out of the rut that they're in. You know, maybe you were homeless too, or, you know, maybe you had a rough times or you, you know, you had no money and this is what you did and you can help somebody else. You are meant to be a teacher. You're meant to be a leader. You're meant to, you know, you're very highly sensitive. You're an empath. So watch your energies. Um, and I'm also hearing, so the other side I'm hearing on this one is that you have a child that's an indigo baby. And that baby is very, very sensitive. And he probably like gravitates towards, I'm hearing like older people, grandma, grandpas, they just feel more happier and happy, you know, those fall asleep in their arms. And it's because the energy of that older energy, because they're impasse and the energy of a grandma and grandpa type energy gives them, um, like a, a calming effect because they've already been through a lot and where a younger kid is going to, they're going to feel the vibration of them. So whereas an older person, they have more of a calming energy about them. So, um, start watching the energy that's you know around you cleanse yourself make sure that you use sage or palo santo or even um selenite you can use a wand and you know cleanse around yourself a sea salt baths there's so many different ways you can do it but you know even dancing you know uh, work with your chakras that kind of thing um and then the next one is visualize success see yourself doing well in the situation and have faith in a positive outcome Start visualizing your success. Start visualizing what it would be like if you were a tarot card reader. Uh, visualize what it would be like to be a dancer. You know, see yourself doing that and believe that you're going to do it and have faith. Just wait for that positive thing to happen because you're going to start believing it. I used to do that too because I wasn't sure which direction I wanted to be. And then I realized like, oh, I'm psychic. Oh my gosh, you know, I'm a witch. Oh my gosh. So I started writing this down and start believing it and you start acting it. So start visualizing what you want to work for. Start visualizing how, you know, yeah, visualize how you want it. You know, even cutting pictures out, whatever helps you to visualize it. You know, getting that vision board out there, you know, whatever it is you can see, start doing it. Even writing, scripting, writing it out, believing it every day. The more you see it every day, the more you read it to yourself every day, the more you write it every day, the more you're going to believe it and the more you're going to create it. And we got some angel messages. And the first one is Ray. Yoga and exercise are essential to your well-being, peace of mind, and spiritual growth right now. So they're really saying that right now, maybe take up yoga, start walking, exercise. It's going to clear your mind. It's going to open up more doorways for you. It's going to um, bring in more light and more guidance, and you're going to be able to receive more messages you know, telepathically or even spiritually or clairaudiently, you know, visually, you're going to start receiving more messages because you're not going to be in your head. You're going to be free. You're going to be open and you're going to be open to receiving this information. So it'll really help you to uh, get out of your head, especially with yoga because it's all about breath. Well, that and um, moving, but it's, it's more about breath too. And it's like it teaches you how to breathe the correct way because when you breathe the correct way, you can get into a deeper meditative state that way. Um, Celeste, a happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in positive new energy. So if you're looking for a new, a new job or you're looking to move, it's coming. It's on your way. Um, just have faith in that. But the new energy, it's going to help you. It's going to help you move for, more forward fastly because you're going to start feeling more happy. You're going to feel free. But it's on your way. A happy move or new job is actually on their way. So they're working on it. And they're saying to have faith and just, you know, do, um, I think one of the other decks had a God box. Do a God box. You know, put all your worries and everything into that God box and don't worry about it. And then you got Archangel Michael. I am with you, giving you the courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose. He will work with you if you call on him. If you're looking for what your purpose is, call on him. He is ready. He will help you and uh, he will guide you in the next steps that you need to take to um, that will guide you to your divine life purpose. You might get like little 
um, in the back of your mind, you're like, oh, maybe I should take up drawing, you know, and you find out maybe you write a book and you do a children's book or you do your own tarot cards, you know, and it leads you down that path. So listen to you with the information, like basically you meditate, but ask him to come forward and show you. He will work with you. He will start showing you. You just got to have faith, start talking to him daily and he'll guide you. Um, Opal. Your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well, cared for by God and the angels. So I'm hearing in this one that um, your children on earth and in heaven are happy. So if you have kids here in this world um, that are living, they are, they're cared for, they're protected, they are so safe that you have no worries. And I'm on, you know, if you have, have babies, and you had, you know, you lost one through a miscarriage or, you know, in another way, just know that they're all so loved and cared for and protected by angels. And they're always around you. And I'm just hearing um, a lot of forgiveness, like forgiveness for yourself. Um, that's if, you know, you're in that direction. But just know that whatever kids you have out there, they are safe and protected. And I'm actually hearing if you are expecting or if you're waiting for your kid to come in, or if you're not sure, that I just see that there's babies like hovering around, like energies hovering around, like they're ready. They're ready to come in when you are. So just know that they're waiting on the other side. They're very loved. And the babies you do have here, they're very loved and protected as well. I just keep bringing Gabriel's around a lot to protect all the babies. So just know that all the babies around are safe and protected. And then two crystal cards came out for you. These are two crystal cards that will help you, I believe, on your, your path and your journey. So these the two cards that fell out was one is Amethyst, Revealing Your True Self. As you allow others to know the real you, you'll feel loved for who you truly are. So basically, the amethyst is going to make you feel more um, psychic, but it's going to make you, uh, you reveal who you really are. People are going to see right through um, by you just wearing amethyst or, you know, having it around. People are going to just know by your energy who you are. But... Um, they also want you to know that people are going to start really seeing you for who you really are. And they're going to love you for just who you are. So just have faith that you're beautiful just the way you are. And, you know, if you want to get amethyst, it will really help you. And the next one is citrine. Let's see if that looks better. There you go. Citrine. Unnecessary worries. Release the burden of worries. By giving them to God for healing and solutions. Citrine, the yellow citrine is actually really good for uh, money as well, prosperity. So it's actually a really good healing stone too to help you to not have uh, like releasing burdens and worries of especially over money. So um, if you want to work with citrine, it's a really good stone to work with. And then the card for um, an animal totem card that fell out for you is water. And it says, feeling, awakening, expressions, and life. So you're very connected to the ocean. Um, you're very connected to the sea salt. Sea salt's very cleansing. Um, but you're very sensitive, and you're going through an awakening for sure. And um, you're starting to really learn to express yourself. You're going to start, like getting more maybe a tattoo hair dye hair cut maybe you lost some weight new hair clothes something like that but you're going to start learning how to express yourself in your own unique way and start living life you know start being one with life you know you're one with everything and just start flowing i just hear a lot of flow um it's funny water flow um but you're very sensitive and remember that and maybe you need more you know sea salt cleansings you know maybe take a bath daily you know, just sit in, you know, like, um, Epsom salt, uh, baking soda, and um, maybe you want to add, you know, your favorite oil to it, lavender. You can add dried flowers, whatever makes you feel comfortable. But the Epsom salt and the baking soda is really going to release uh, a lot of that negativity from your energy, from your aura. Like, if you're, if you're an empath, it's like you're very sensitive to where you go. So if you go to a grocery store, 
you might feel fine one minute and you walk out and you're like angry all of a sudden. It's like you're picking up in other people's energy. Um, even feeling nauseous around um, energies that are being directed at you, you can feel nauseous. So they're just saying to really be careful, really watch yourself, really protect yourself. You are protected, but they're saying to do some extra stuff that you can do for yourself. Um, that's all I have for you guys. So I hope you really resonated. I hope you enjoyed. And if you would like a personal reading, you can always email me at Janine, uh, spiritualmedium at gmail.com. Thank you so much. And um, I have all this stuff down in the description below. I hope you have a blessed night. Thank you so much for coming by. Bye-bye.